Is the Turin Shroud really the burial cloth of Jesus? Science may hold the answer. Join us as we explore the blood type found on the Shroud and what it means for the ongoing debate about its authenticity. The Turin Shroud is one of the most mysterious and talked about religious relics in the world. It's a long piece of linen cloth, about 14 feet long, with a faint image of a man's front and back. Many people believe it could be the burial cloth that wrapped Jesus after his crucifixion. Others think it's a medieval fake. But what does science say? The shroud first appeared in historical records during the 1300s in France. From the start, it caught people's attention. The image on the cloth looked like a man who had suffered wounds that matched the crucifixion of Jesus. Wounds on the wrists and feet, blood on the forehead like from a crown of thorns, and marks that looked like a scourging. People were amazed. Was this the actual burial cloth of Christ? Early investigations were simple. People looked at the cloth and guessed. But as time went on and science advanced, researchers started looking at the shroud in more detail. They studied the weave of the cloth. They examined the image to see how it could have appeared. But one of the most important questions was, is the blood on the shroud real? And if it is, what kind of blood is it? Later in the 20th century, scientists were able to use better tools to look at the shroud. They used forensic methods to study the stains that looked like blood. They wanted to know if it really was human blood and if they could identify the blood type. Using these modern tests, scientists made an interesting discovery. They found that the blood on the shroud was real human blood. Even more interesting, it was blood type AB. This was a big deal. Blood type AB is rare. Only about 4% of people in the world have it. And it's even less common in certain populations. Some researchers pointed out that the AB blood type is more common in the Middle East, which matches the region where Jesus lived. That made some people wonder, could this actually be his blood? The AB blood type has also been found on other ancient religious artifacts, such as relics believed to be connected to Jesus, like the Sidarium of Oviedo, a cloth that some believe covered Jesus' face after his death. This made the findings on the shroud even more compelling for those who believe it is authentic. But not everyone agrees with these conclusions. There has been a lot of criticism and doubt surrounding the blood tests. One big issue is contamination. The shroud is hundreds of years old and has been touched by thousands of people. It has been moved, displayed, handled, and even damaged in a fire. Could modern DNA or other materials have gotten onto the cloth and affected the results? Some skeptics say yes. They argue that what scientists found might not be original blood from the time of Jesus, but blood or other substances from people who touched the shroud later on. Others go even further and say that the blood might not be blood at all, that it could be paint or dye used to create a convincing image. In 1988, scientists used radiocarbon dating on the cloth. This test said the shroud was made between 1260 and 1390 AD, much later than the time of Jesus. This led many to believe the shroud was a medieval creation, not a genuine first-century artifact. However, some researchers questioned those results. They argued that the carbon dating samples were taken from a part of the cloth that was repaired in the Middle Ages, not from the original fabric. If that's true, the test results wouldn't reflect the true age of the shroud. So the debate continues. Is the blood type AB really from a man who lived 2000 years ago? Or is it a result of later contamination, or even a fake? While the science is uncertain, there's no denying that the shroud holds deep meaning for many people. Beyond science, the shroud has had a huge impact on art and faith. For centuries, artists have looked at the shroud for inspiration. The image of the man on the cloth has influenced many paintings and sculptures of Jesus. It has also become a symbol of suffering, sacrifice, and hope for Christians around the world. To believers, the shroud is more than just a piece of cloth. It's a sacred object, a physical connection to the death and resurrection of Jesus. To others, it's a fascinating mystery one that science still hasn't solved. The story of the Shroud is a perfect example of the complex relationship between science, history, and faith. 
Science tries to find facts. History looks at records and timelines. Faith looks deeper, to meaning, belief, and hope. Even if we don't have all the answers, the shroud continues to inspire questions. And that's what keeps researchers, believers, and skeptics interested. Today, scientists are still studying the shroud. New technologies like digital imaging, 3D modeling, and updated forensic techniques are giving experts new ways to analyze it. But even with all this modern science, the mystery remains. Some researchers are focusing on the blood again. They're trying to confirm if it really is AB type, and if it's possible to find any remaining DNA. But after so many centuries, that's a difficult task. DNA breaks down over time, especially when exposed to light, heat, and human handling. Other researchers are looking at the image on the cloth. They want to know how it was made. Is it a natural imprint from a real human body? Or was it made by human hands using some kind of early artistic technique? There's also interest in how the image is so detailed, even though it's very faint. Some say the image has 3D qualities, meaning when it's scanned digitally, the image seems to rise and fall, giving it depth. That's strange, because normal photos or paintings don't do that. So the shroud continues to surprise and puzzle those who study it. At the same time, it raises ethical and philosophical questions. How should we treat objects like the shroud? Should they be studied more aggressively, even if that means risking damage? Or should they be preserved and respected as religious relics? And what does the shroud mean for us today? Whether you believe the shroud is the burial cloth of Jesus, a medieval masterpiece, or something else entirely, it's clear that it holds a powerful place in human history. It's a symbol of pain, mystery, and faith. It challenges us to think deeply, not just about science and history, but about belief, hope, and the things we hold sacred. In the end, maybe the most important thing about the Shroud is the way it brings people together. Scientists, believers, artists, and seekers, all drawn to a centuries-old piece of cloth that still speaks to us in powerful ways. The Turin Shroud remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the world. The discovery of AB blood type adds a fascinating piece to the puzzle, but it doesn't answer everything. Maybe it never will. And maybe that's okay. Because sometimes, mystery itself is what keeps us searching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about ancient mysteries, science and faith, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.